Bro, I guarantee, after watching this video, you will know exactly why you feel like shit every day and what you have to do to get rid of it. Because social media really fucks up your brain and it's much more deeper than just instant gratification. It's just the peak of an iceberg. It literally makes you unsatisfied with your life. It makes you feel shit. It makes you feel like you do not belong, like everyone around you is better. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can make your life great again. How you can become happy and grateful in just a matter of days. If again, you take the right decisions. Because all people in the media are only talking that social media is bad because of addictions and stuff. That you're scrolling, scrolling and searching for the best video. But actually, there is a much bigger issue to this social media platforms. Okay, let me explain. People hate average because, well, it's boring. It's usual. The only thing you care about is extraordinary. So when an unnatural trend addict Sam Sulek posts his workouts in the internet, everybody cares and it gets a lot of attention. But on the other hand, if I post my physique and how I flex, it wouldn't get a lot of use because people don't care about it, as it's not so unique. And so because people love this extraordinary content, they watch more and more this 10 out of 10 guys, the biggest, the richest, the strongest, the smartest. And nobody sees the average because they don't give a shit, it's not interesting. So your brain starts to think that having 3% of body fat, making 10k dollars a month and living in Dubai is average. I mean, everyone is doing it, you always see it in the media. And after that, you and other people feel like shit, feel like they're losers that have a very bad life, they become desperate and then buy online courses on how to make money online and get scammed by some online guru like Iman Gadzi, only losing their time and money. Because their perception of an average life is fucked up, they do not realize that millions of other people would wish to be on their position. They do not see poor people online, they do not see obese guys, they do not see disabled or sick, because it's not interesting, it's average. They do not see the real average, because they don't give a shit about them. They're not actually grateful for something that they have in their life, because they feel like it is nothing. Like for example, when was the last time you said thank you to your parents for actually spending time with you, because other people may not have them, and you do not even think about it because of the social media. Because again, all they see is the strongest, the richest and the smartest people online. They think that being the 0.1% is average. They feel shit about themselves and they do not even look back to what they actually own. You actually think that watching rich men, how they give you advice, buy cars online and spend money is actually motivational? No, it only fucks up your mental health even more. It makes you feel miserable. Like seriously, right now, go outside and look how many Lambos you see. None? One? Maximum two? But in your feed and Instagram, you see them every second post. Instagram is not the reality. And this is actually the main reason why you should quit watching Reels and TikToks, because it fucks up your perception of reality. Not because of, ah, dolphinate receptors, ah, instant gratification, he. <laughs> Flip it, do not delete Instagram, watch your friends' stories, react to them, send them memes, make posts, but resist yourself from watching reels. Because they really fuck up your mental health. You think watching this Andrew Tate shorts will help you in your life? No, they actually bring zero positive change to your life. I mean, how can you improve if the only thing you're watching is how he buys new Rolls Royces? So stop watching these stupid videos of rich guys flexing their watches go into the real world, not the real world. So actually become grateful for what you have and the only way to do it is to actually change your perception of an average life. Actually go outside and look at the people you see and you will realize that your life is not so bad as you thought it is. Stop this mental masturbation. And again, I do not mean that you must delete all social media and never watch it, even though you can and it will really help you scale your life. But in the majority of cases, people still come back to it and download it after a few weeks come by. But the main thing you must do is resist watching reels and TikToks because they're flipping fake. These huge guys are unnatural. These Lambos are rented. I even know it from experience. I live in Dubai and I see a lot of people around in fake rented Lambos filming videos to advertise their courses. This is not the real world. Do not fall for these traps. Do not think that making huge amounts of money is average. No, 
only a few people actually achieve that level, but the social media made you think that every person is doing it right now, except for you. So be grateful for what you have, live in the real world and do what you feel is right. Subscribe if you enjoyed and see you soon. Bye.